today we're going to be going from something like this. It's been freshly sandblasted, has a nice profile to it. We're going to clean it up with some acetone. Uh, going to go ahead and stick it in the oven, get it outgassed, clean it up with a little bit more acetone, and after that, blow it off with some nice dry air begin the coating process so we can end up something like this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our tie wire. So we'll take some uh, solid core copper wire and we're going to fix it to this caliper real quick as our hanger so we can place it in the oven for a preheat. Um, that way we can do a full outgas on it. So we just take this little hanger guy. We're going to go ahead and take him like this, like this, pushing it as far as we can go, then this up, and then we'll take these and these up and trim the slack. So this is where, where our hook is gonna be, right here. That'll hook up to the racking assembly inside of our oven. And this will hold it in place and give it a solid ground. And we'll make sure that we'll pull these far enough away, these guys right here. Make sure that we pull these back to where powder can get behind here, not Faraday. Because that's the worst thing you could do is get a Faraday spot and you have this big line right there and that just doesn't look good. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Now as you can see, there's our hook right here, and we have these little parts right here that come in and hook through the piece itself. This gives it adequate grounding, substrate, and this will allow us to hang it in our oven to go ahead and preheat and get this thing ready to be powdered. So here we are in the outgas phase. We are actually letting the parts sit in the oven at about 20 degrees hotter than what we're gonna cure the part at. This ensures that we get any contaminants out of the surface of the aluminum. Here we check the surface with a temperature probe to see where we're sitting at. And once we're happy with the surface temperature, we take it out, we clean it off, uh, blow it off with some dry air, and then uh, put it on the rack and wait until it gets down to the optimal temperature for us to semi-hot. Alright, so the gun is fired up right now. Uh, gonna go ahead and adjust the KV settings and the volume settings so we can get this thing spraying the way it should. And uh, let's get this caliper done.
All right, now this is after a semi-hot coat. The powder is partially curing, uh, so it has kind of a wet gel look to it, but it is in no way hot enough to actually cure the powder itself. So this way we can see how it's gonna flow. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the rack and go put it in the oven and get a 70% partial cure so I can apply the decal and do a clear coat over it and then fully cure it. Alrighty, here's the caliper. It's 70% uh, cured. I would say 70 to 80% cured. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take it out, let it cool down. All of the powder has flowed 100%, so it's gonna have a nice, beautiful gloss finish to it right now when I take it out. So once it's cooled enough to the touch, um, we're gonna go ahead and apply the Brembo decal, and then from there, we're gonna hang it on the rack, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and powder it with the clear, and once that happens, we'll stick it back in the oven and we'll do a full cure on it. That way, the decal is sandwiched in between the base coat and the clip. This next part is a little bit trickier. Um, this is where you have to actually put the Brembo decal onto the caliper. Um, you kind of have to have an eye for this. And I mean, you can make marks on the caliper as best as you can and kind of mic things out with the caliper and stuff like that. But realistically, it's just a, a finesse thing. I mean. If you get it wrong, you just peel it off and, and reposition if you can. Um, sometimes it sticks real well, you have to restart, use a new decal. But uh, for the most part, this is kind of one of those things where you just, you do the best you can, get it as close as you can, and afterwards, once you're done, you measure it, and you kind of have like a tolerance for uh, how much air there's going to be on it. So within so many, you know, thousands of an inch you, you say okay this is acceptable if it's skewed a little bit but for the most part I mean you just want to be able to look at it and it looks really really straight so I'm gonna go ahead and get one of them put on and got it right on the first try the gun is now loaded with clear vision top coat this is gonna be our sandwich layer so we're gonna be sandwiching the uh, Brembo vinyl to the hot yellow um, powder coat and it's basically going to be our fusion coat so we have the caliper 70% cured as of right now so that way when we spray this over it it's going to fuse with the underlying base coat layer and that way it's one contiguous layer so this will actually be cured for a little while longer than normal uh, just to the KV settings uh, to make it a little bit lower uh, lower the pressure and uh, increase the volume a little bit on the uh, powder flow. That way, uh, you know, we can get a dense coverage on this part. Uh, clear, it, it's a little bit different. It shoots a little bit different than the other colors. Um, you have to be kind of careful with it. it. You lay too much down, it tends to orange peel really, really bad. So you gotta be delicate with it. But otherwise, uh, we can go ahead and get this going. and. Uh Well, here they are. I uh, just took them out of the oven about 30 minutes ago. They're still about 130 degrees. Uh, a little warm to the touch, that's for sure. Anyways, they go on a 2007 Acura TL Type S. I'll be sure to get a picture once I put them back together, uh, tighten them up, torque them down the spec, make sure all the seals are good, and um, make sure everything's safe. Other than that, the quality came out good. The finish came out superb. Uh, as far as I can tell, there are no blemishes. Um, I'm going to look them over once I can handle them. They're still a little toasty, like I said, but uh, all in all, it was a good project. So, thanks for watching.